Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you drive up in all this rain. This is the motel, right? I didn't see any... Oh, that's right. The sign. You know, we don't get too many visitors around here that much anymore. I'll let they move the highway and all. Here, I'll just... Do you have a vacancy? Oh, yeah. We have 12 vacancies. 12 cabins, 12 vacancies. Well, I won't be any bother to you, and was that your mother up there? My mother? Uh, no, 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 it's just me. I own the motel and I own the house. I mean, my mother used to own it, but she died and I inherited it. There's really nobody up there. Really. All right, let me see. Here, if you could just sign this register here. Thank you. Pretty nasty weather out there, isn't it? Ooh, I think a storm's coming. Let's see, cabin one. It's closer in case you want anything. <clears throat> I just want to sleep more than anything else, except maybe some food. Well, there's a big diner just up the road, about 10 miles, just outside of Fairvale. Am I that close to Fairvale? Yep, not too far. I'll get your bags. Well, the, uh, the mattress is soft, and there's some hangers in the closet, and that over there is the, uh... The bathroom. Yes. Uh, well, if you want anything, just, you know, just tap on the wall. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be in the office. Do you have a TV? Uh, no, no TV. But we have a radio in the office. You're not, uh, really gonna go out and go up to that diner, are you? No. Well then, would you do me a favor? Would you have dinner with me? I was just about to myself, you know. Nothing special, just sandwiches and sodas. Uh, my mother, she, uh, what's that phrase? She, she isn't quite herself today. But I thought you shouldn't have bothered. I really don't have that much of an appetite. This is this is all for you. I'm I'm really not all that good. So go ahead. You look like a bird. You'd know, of course. No, no, not really. Anyway, I hear the expression "eats like a bird" is really a falsity. It birds actually eat a tremendous amount. But I don't really know that much except about birds. My hobby is studying birds, you know, watching them, getting close to them. And then stuffing them? That's a strange hobby. It's curious. Uncommon, too. I'm trying to collect one of every species I see. I just saw this grobin a few weeks ago. Oh, it's lovely. Just uh, lovely. You know what? It's not as expensive as you'd think. It's cheap, really. You know, needles and thread, sawdust. The chemicals are the only thing that cost anything. Well, a man should have a hobby. Well, it's, it's more than a hobby. A hobby is supposed to pass the time, not fill it. Is your time so empty? No, uh, well, I run the office and I uh, tend, tend the cabins and the grounds and actually do some bird watching and and do little errands for my mother, <clears throat> the ones she allows me, she thinks that I'm capable of doing. Do you go out with friends? Well, you know, a boy's best friend is his mother. You, you've never had an empty moment in your entire life, have you? Oh, I've had my share. So, where, 
Where is it you're going? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. Um, I'm looking for a private island. So what is it you're running away from? <gasps> I really should get back to my room. I'm, I'm awfully tired. Oh, well, you're not, you're not going back to your room already, are you? 